Hello and welcome. This is Janet Beckers here and come with me today as I take you behind the scenes on a product launch that is happening right now. One of the best things that you can do to be able to improve your business is keep an eye on what is happening. You want to make sure that you're looking at examples of best practice as they are happening now. Don't wait for somebody to um, have trialed enough of these to be then turning them into a product or for them to land into a textbook. You watch what's happening right now and pick out the things that you know that you can be using in your business. And so what I'm going to be taking you through today is an example of best practice and using all of the strategies that are known to be working very, very well to be able to launch a new program. Now, I'm fortunate to be on the consulting team for this launch, so I've got some unique perspectives on what's been happening behind the scenes. Now, Gabriella Rosa is the owner of this program, and um, I'm going to be taking you through what Gabriella's been doing as part of this first part of her launch, and that's okay with Gabby. She's all right for me to do that, so you're very fortunate that you get to come behind the scenes, so let's get started. Now, this program, I wanted to share it with you for two reasons. One, one is I know that you're on my list because you want to learn about how to grow your business. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you today in this video. But secondly is because of the topic of this launch. Gabriella Rosa is a natural fertility specialist and she has helped thousands of couples to be able to bring beautiful healthy babies into the world that previously had been struggling to be able to do that. And I know that if not you, that there will be somebody you know that may be having this, you know, a really sort of a quiet desperation, a sadness because they really truly want to bring a child into the world, but they can't. And that could be stopping them from moving forward with lots of things in their life. And so I know that um, by you passing on to them, or if that is you, that you will be able to help them just simply by taking part in what Gabby's going to be offering to everybody as a free part of her launch. Um, so that's for two reasons. One is I just know it's such a fantastic message to share and the other is I know that I can teach you a lot through this process. So let's get started. Now the first thing I want you to notice on this page is there are a few things here which are designed to increase conversions. Now this is the first page that comes from um, in the launch. So this is what's called a squeeze page page or a landing page. Now the whole intention of this one web page is get people to come over to this sign up form here on the side and give their name and email address. That's the number one thing that they need to do. So every single thing on this page is there to increase the conversions, increase the number of people who are going to put their name and email address into this sign up box because as soon as you join that sign up box, then you start getting access to the information and to the launch material. So let's have a look on this web page to see what things are here that are increasing the conversions of the sign-ups. And I want you to think as we're doing this, take some notes, because um, I want you to think about what you can be doing in your own business on either your regular website, the main website that people come to, or particular products pages, or pages where you've got that they are signing up to get onto your mailing list. Have a think about, as I'm going through this, what you can be applying to your own business. So let's start at the top. The very first one is, I want you to notice up the top here, there's a few things here that are designed to really reinforce credibility. Now you've got here is Gabriella's description here, leading natural fertility specialist and naturopath. Um, Notice how that there is in quotation marks. That's actually been shown to increase conversions. Just a little side note there. Celebrated author of three books on this topic. So if you're, you've got anything that you have published, now it doesn't have to be like a hard copy book. It could be an e-book that you have published, but you have still done it. You're an author on that particular topic. Now here is an important one, as seen and heard on. Now see all these different logos that she's got here of different newspapers, television, radio, yada, yada, yada. All of that is screaming credibility because it's showing the social proof of people who are seen as being respected um, 
is that you're showing, okay, well, she must know what she's talking about. Now, have a look what you've got in your own business. Now, you may not have reached the level of expertise as Gabby in your particular niche, but there will be some things that you may have, um, that you can actually put here. I've even seen people who have, um, as seen on YouTube and Facebook, woohoo, but surprisingly, it actually looks really, really effective. So think about where you can be saying that, you know, you've been seen on. Of course, if you feel as though you're going to be just sort of stretching it a little bit there, leave that bit out, but keep in mind, just have a thought about what you can be adding there. So all of those increased credibility, which make you think, well, okay, actually, I think it's probably going to be worthwhile me actually joining this mailing list in order to get this information. Of course, if you're, you know, you, you're not interested in that topic, if you're not actually the, the target market for this, well, of course, you'll, you won't, you'll be passing through. Let's look down the page and look at other things that we've got here. Um, the headline here is, it's all about what you're going to get when you're signing up. It's not talking about every other thing that, that Gabby can do to help you. It's only talking about the reason why you would sign up, which is to take part in the free 14-day fertility challenge. And you're going to be learning a hell of a lot during that 14 days. You know, it's not just some, you know, get onto my mailing list. People are actually going to be having their lives changed simply by taking part in that challenge. Um, now, a big thing here, without drugs or surgery, it's setting her aside from what makes her different to everybody else. And again, look at this, backed by over 50 of the latest scientific studies. Credibility, credibility. That's another important thing. So think about what you've got that you can actually be putting there. Now, moving down the page again, look at the video here. Now, the video is really very important. Now, Gabby could have chosen a few different situations in order to shoot her work on video. But what she's done is she's actually shot this video in her clinic. Now, the reason for that is that's where she's very comfortable because that's where she spends a lot of her time. It is also, if, if people were coming to see her for her one-on-one -on -one help, this is the situation where they would be. So it's kind of putting it into that situation of, okay, I'm the person in the clinic and um, you know, so it gives that right setting. So for her to be actually talking in a coffee shop would still work, but would not be as impactful and, and really reinforcing the credibility as having actually shot it there in her studio. Now, another couple of things she's done here, she's actually holding up in the video her books. So she's starting off with credibility. Again, credibility is everything in this. Um, and you can see the quality of her videos is just fantastic. She's, you know, taken the time to really present herself well, uh, which Gabby always does anyway. Um, but she's also taken the effort to make a really professional video and using this beautiful background and the colours and everything reinforce her branding, which is all about, you know, natural colours, natural therapies. Um, so. They can have a look at that. So you can also see, again, with, she's even written down here on the actual video, is again, it's all about the credibility. So you can see that that is a big thing that's going to be increasing conversions on this page here. Now let's move over to the right, and we're going to have a look at the sign-up box. Now, Gabrielle has been working with a conversion specialist, John Anderson, and um, he's an amazing man. I've worked closely with John as well. And this is his specialty, is actually increasing conversions through launches. And um, so let's have a look at, I know that John would have also been talking a lot about these things here. So let's look at this sign up box, because this is definitely an example of best practice. Uh, first of all, free sign up. So you're offering them some, you're not saying please sign up for my newsletter, you're giving them something. Now it's saying Australia's number one natural fertility expert. So she's it's something that she can claim. And it's saying it is now free, which is giving you the feeling that, oh, maybe this was paid for in the past. Um, and it's something that you could def there is information in here that, that people have definitely paid for in the past. The arrow, again, everything's pointing down to what you want them to do. This is interesting, the image. Now, this is a challenge. People aren't getting a box and CDs. But you can see, simply by having this image, it gives a feeling um, about what you're actually going to be. You're getting something solid, even though you're not actually receiving anything and nobody's saying you are. Um, so just, but it has been proven that having some kind of image increases conversions. So again, it's asking for your name and your email and sign up now. 
so that's really quite a nice clear box and it's again it's above the fold which means it's on the very first the very top part when anybody um, opens up this website they don't have to scroll down to see that now we've also got down here for people who don't like watching videos or perhaps they want re extra reinforcement these are the things that you're going to be discovering simply in this 14 day free and again down the bottom it's the, the, the box here as well so there's absolutely no mistake that what you're meant to do there's one call to action and that's what you're going to be doing so this is an example of fantastic best practice when it comes to creating a squeeze page or a landing page same, same sort of thing it's what you want people to be doing when they get here so let's go on a little bit further and I'm actually going to take you behind um, the scenes. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to fill in my name and email address and sign up. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side. So as soon as you sign up for your, um, put your name and email in, this is the next page that you go to. Now let's have a look at the examples of best practice here. So far, this could be this a really a good example of best practice even if you weren't doing a launch, if this was to just be getting people onto your mailing list. But now we're going to be talking about a few things here on best practice for either way. And then I'm going to talk to you about things that are happening here specific to launches that are very very powerful so the very first thing is I really like this step one step two step three okay so the step one go and check your email and make sure you confirm your email address step two um, a free report so the thing is the challenge will not be starting for another week or so so you want to keep people engaged in the interim so a free report is going to be really giving people some great value it's going to be getting them to interact with what you're doing and it'll be giving them some knowledge that they can start implementing when they can't start taking part in that strategy in the challenge sorry so and, and it's even saying what you're going to discover in that report because you just can't assume that if people get given a report that they're going to go to the effort of opening it so she's um, telling them what's what they're going to get from that report and it's just there straight away for them to get step three it's telling them what's coming up the challenge is starting on the 25th of May we'll send you some more info so so far that's pretty well straightforward about if somebody had signed up for a free list let's go further now into the challenge sign now she's going to be running a challenge and I'll explain to you about what a challenge is and why this is an important thing from a marketing perspective. A challenge is basically a way of getting your people who join your mailing list to take some action. You're challenging them. Now why would you want to do this? Because to get people um, involved in some kind of challenge, you've got to teach them, you've got to lead them, you've got to encourage them to interact and actually take action. So this is not something that is in the, um, you know, wow, that's just the simplest thing I could ever do but it is, has some huge payoffs. There's, uh, let me, there's two huge payoffs that happen from this. The first one is if you're going to be going to the effort of, of doing a fantastic marketing campaign, why not do something that's going to change people's lives? Now, by people taking part in a 14-day challenge, Gabby is going to be sharing an amazing amount of knowledge, information, getting them to take action, and by, if they actually do that and take the action, there are people whose lives are going to be changed simply by being involved in her launch process through her challenge. So if you're going to be marketing, why not do something that's actually going to make a difference in the world? Now the other side that comes from this is by getting people really involved in a challenge is they are then going to, the people who get really involved in it are then in a way they're qualifying themselves. They will be able to see by taking part in that is one, they may go one side and go, nah, nah, this is not for me. That's fine. They were never going to be your customers anyway. If they take part in this challenge and they think, you know, I really, this is for me. I Now I've tried it out. I know that this is something I can do. And I know that I might need some hand-holding to help me there, but I know that I can do it. Um, and so if then when you actually do come to offer some kind of program, they are people who've already decided, you know, I trust this person and importantly, I can see that I am capable of actually doing this. So, yep, I feel as though this is something I want to invest in. So it's got that extra side of it as well. As it really means that by the time you go to launch your program, 
people have really decided themselves if this is something that they feel that they can do. Now, topics that you would do a challenge on is think about what is the biggest objection that your customers may have to actually implementing any kind of program that you may um, eventually offer. Now, I notice I didn't say they, that they would have to buying. I'm talking about implementing because really if you're going to be selling something it's because you want people to use it not just that you want them to hand over the cash and then sit it on the bookshelf so you want them to implement so think about what's something that they may be thinking is going to be too hard um, that I would never be able to do it that they'll be thinking well I wouldn't even end up investing in a program because I just don't think it would be for me or it would be too difficult what's their big objection and I'll give you an example of one from my own business to show you what an ejection would be and how effective that can be. Um, one that I did when I launched my Passion to Profits program the first time is I knew that a lot of people would never purchase the program. It's all about running teleseminars and interviewing because they would think, um, a lot of people said, look, I could never do that because it's way too technical for me. I could never run a teleseminar, but I know how easy it is. So what I did was I ran a challenge where I taught people how to create their first information product using their voice, and then I challenged them to go and create a simple product that only went for five minutes. And we had so many people who took part in that. So that was, we had people who actually it launched their businesses simply by taking part in that challenge because they realized that there was something that they could do so easily and it had been the thing stopping them. So that was that it changed lives simply by running that challenge. Then importantly for me is then when I went to go and launch my program, the interesting thing is every single person who purchased that program, bar one, had taken part in that challenge because they knew that it was something that felt right for them, that they felt confident to do it because I had helped them overcome that objection of it's going to be too technical. So think about if you're going to be using a challenge in your own launching, what's something that people are going, oh, it's too hard or I could never do it, um, whatever. Think about that sort of thing that you can help them overcome in that challenge. Uh, so yeah, that's the big advantages to be able to run a challenge in your launches. But also keep in mind, you're not going to be running a challenge and wasting people's time. You're going to be giving great value. And if you're going to do it, go out there with the intention of changing people's lives. And that's what I know that Gabby is doing. Um, one of the reasons why Gabby is including a challenge in her campaign is because she is so incredibly passionate about helping people create healthy babies that she wanted to do through her launch process. She wanted to change people's lives simply through the launch process. And she will. Um, so that's, uh, to me, it's a, it's a beautiful integrity way of, of approaching business. So that's the idea of using a challenge. The other thing with challenges is it doesn't mean that you can kind of set it and forget it because you know you can you can run a launch and then just have it so that it always is there and people can just go through at their own pace. With a challenge you need people to really be going through all starting at the same time and then to have that momentum. But it is the kind of thing that you can rinse and repeat. So you can have a couple of challenges per year if that process is working well. So um, that's another thing to think about with challenges. Now I wanted to show you one more thing that Gabby's got here. If When you get to this page and you'll go down to the end here, is click on a link and it's saying at the end of the challenge that you're invited to come along to an online webinar where it's going to tie it all together for you. So I'll just click on here and this is the link to the webinar. Here we are. And you can see this is another squeeze page. So because when you think about it, there are, whoop, there are going to be people who come to this page that may not have taken part in the challenge yet. Um, you know, there'll be continual marketing happening. So they will be signing up on here. And uh, so you can see again, you can have a look again on this page and look at all the different things that have got to do with credibility. And it's being very clear about when it's starting and what time it is. So just to recap the different things that are part of this launch that you may want to consider in your own launches, one is you know an awesome landing squeeze page um, with a huge emphasis on credibility. Um, so that's and that's really going to increase conversions. 
So that's one big part. Another thing is to have a free report for as soon as people sign up so that they can actually start to interact with you and start to learn. Um, so that's another um, thing that she's got in there. The next thing is an actual challenge, a 14-day challenge that gets people to take action and really gets them involved. And it's designed that it's got two purposes, one to change people's lives simply by taking part in it, and the other one if people then decide that they um, want more hand-holding, that they have already worked out for themselves if this is, the pro if this is um, something that they want to be doing because they'll have already gone through that process and self-selected. Um, so there's that part and then the next part is a webinar at the end of the challenge where you tie everything through for everybody and tell, tell them what steps they can take next whether that is with you or whether it is on their own. Um, so there's some different steps going forward in a launch for you. I'm very grateful to Gabby that she's um, been happy for me to talk you through what she is doing. As you can see, this is a great example of best practice in marketing as well as best practice in actually her topic, which is helping um, helping couples to have healthy babies. Uh, so I'd love to hear below any comments that you've got on your ideas on what you can be doing from uh, learning from Gabby, things that you can be doing in your own business, on strategies that you might want to implement in your launches or in your um, in just your simple list building strategies that you have on your website. Just leave them down below. I love to talk about this sort of stuff. So any questions that you've got, any suggestions that you've got on how you could use this in your own business, I'd love to hear it.